Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We're talking about last night's WWE Money in the Bank winner. And of course, that was Brock Lesnar. And I know there's a lot of people out there uh, that are kind of, you know, complaining about it. Or uh, kind of, I'm not going to say I'm angry about it. Uh, but I will say that I completely was shocked by it. I, you know, some people say that they got worked by it or anything like that. To me, honestly, it didn't make a lot of sense. I know that guys like John Cena, um, who are on top of the company, have won the Money in the Bank. But to me, honestly, the Money in the Bank has always kind of been um, something that moves somebody up the roster, like a, a Dolph Ziggler um, or uh, CM Punk moved up from being a mid-carder. Uh, to winning the championship. Uh, definitely it reshaped Edge's career, uh, making him a main event guy. Uh, and that's kind of what I was hoping was going to happen with the Money in the Bank this year. Definitely uh, Andrade Sam Almas is somebody that I really um, was hoping was going to be a main guy. I even thought that maybe uh, Drew McIntyre uh, was my pick uh, to win... Uh, money in the bank this year and I thought he would have been a really good winner uh, to win it but uh, it comes down to it these guys beat the holy hell out of each other and because Sami Zayn was not a part of the match which gives us a good reason why Braun Strowman was removed and replaced by Sami Zayn because somebody pitched Brock Lesnar coming in and actually winning uh, the money in the bank briefcase at the money in the bank and uh, to me honestly it, it works, you know, a lot of people thought that maybe Braun Strowman had a ton of heat on him and he wasn't getting along with people because of a botch at WrestleMania, which I haven't even gone back to check out, but, I, you know, people are saying he hurt Ali, um, and, you know, him and, uh, Luke Harper got into it because he forgot the spot or whatever it was, um, it, it, it turns out that none of that was true. And just they got the idea to bring Brock in. They didn't want to make a big deal. Um, and so they, they switched Strowman for, for Zayn. They switched Zayn for Brock. Brock just comes out, walks out there, walks up the uh, the briefcase, or walks up the ladder, grabs a briefcase, and he's done. Um, some people are wondering, is this what's going to set up um, the, the, uh, the match uh, for Saudi Arabia um, where... Brock's just going to say he wants a rematch um, against Rollins. To me, honestly, Brock should just be able to ask, I want my rematch, and that's what sets up Saudi Arabia. Maybe we, we've seen the guy with the money in the brain briefcase, um, you know, be the number one contender, and we've always thought that, well, maybe he'll lose the match, but then cash in after that match is over and actually win the second match. Uh, it's something that we haven't seen done yet, but it is something that, that could be done by Brock. Um, some people think that Brock's going to be on Raw tonight. I really think that there's no chance in hell Brock shows up on Raw tonight. I could be 100% wrong. It is 3.12. I'll probably have this video uploaded by 4 o'clock. And um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And it is what it is. Um, I can't say that I, you know, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. I, I was really hoping that they would use the briefcase to, uh, um, you know, push younger talent to make them new main event guys. Uh, but instead, we're stuck with Brock. And in my opinion, what I don't like about it is the same thing as like when Brock is champion. You guys heard this for years. When Brock's the champion, he's not on the show. When he's not on the show, it makes these guys fighting to fight Brock, who's not there, pointless. And it just doesn't really make sense. It's almost like when you know Seth Rollins was running around with that Money in the Bank briefcase, and uh, Brock was the champion. What was the point of him bringing the briefcase out each and every week? What was the point of D'Ambrose taking the briefcase away from Rollins if Brock's not even in the picture to cash in? I think there was a point when Brock was on the September pay per view, and we didn't see him again until the Royal Rumble um, in January. So for all those months. This dude's carrying around a briefcase with no meaning, and it just didn't make sense. So hopefully they'll figure this briefcase thing out sooner than later, and it's just not Brock having that briefcase sitting at home. Um, he's added to a long list of guys. Um, you know, For Brock to go to WrestleMania and lose in that record-setting uh, moment, opening up the show, um, but then now I guess 
at that point we thought he was going to UFC. Since then it's been announced that Dana White doesn't think he's coming back and Brock's retired. Um, you know, why they would put the, the gas back on Brock to say, like, let's push this guy, he's going to be our champion. So anything can happen from here on out that just, to me, I'm not that excited about it.